guys uh, banded together and stood up for each other, and, and uh, you know, you know, the game got out of their control a little bit, up six three. But uh, um, give our guys credit for for sticking up for each other and, and uh, getting through the third period. Adirondacks seems to play a brand of hockey a little bit more attuned to the uh, Eastern Conference way of playing. Oh, well, we haven't seen too much of the Eastern Conference, so I can't tell you exactly what's going on up there. But you know, they're uh, they've kind of. You know, I, I don't know what Abbotsford was like last year, but. Uh, I know some of the kids on that team there, and, and uh, they've got some toughness there. And obviously, with Gillies in the lineup, and you got Akalatsi, he's a pretty tough kid, and, and the Wolf. But uh, you know, that's the brand they play. They want to play a physical brand, and uh, you know, if they take the penalties, their penalty kills are very good. to scored a goal for them again tonight. So for us, it's just uh, you know, if the team's going to come out and be physical again, so you have to be able to sting him on the power play. Last game for Valerie Matushkin here. Just talk about what you got out of him to generate the three assists. You know what, uh, he was, you know, we, we put him up on Moe's line there just to kind of uh, increase his ice time a little bit and, and give him some opportunity on the power play. And it was a little bit scrambly tonight, but he made some plays at the right time on, on Dowling's goal. And he made a great play on Valentine's goal. So, you know, I think he's trying to find his legs a little bit and, uh, you know, get up to get up to speed going back to Dallas. Yeah, if there's any thermometer of how physical the game is getting, I think it's Max Bertunitz getting in a fight. I think it's only the second one time he's ever had, it's ever happened. Well, you like the fact that he stood up for his teammate, and uh, you know we didn't like the hit from uh, from Wolf on on uh, on Smitty, but uh, you know give him credit for st for sticking up for his teammate, and that's going to go a long way down down the uh, last stretch here for, and going into the playoffs. And you know that's one thing we talked about uh, is is having that team toughness. You don't have to go out and fight every night, but when you're called upon, you got to stick up for your teammate. Were you worried at all after the first period? I mean, guys were playing well, but you're down two to one. No, it's it's part of the game. You always can't you always can't have the lead, right? And, you know, and, and you're preaching on the bench, hey guys, we're comfortable, we like where we are. And, you know, the message after the first period was we liked the first period. You know, we liked the second period. And then, uh, you know, we, we got back and, and got the lead in the second period and, and hung on and, and built on the lead in the third period. So it's all bar part of it. You know, you always can't gain the lead early and you have to work through the game. And, and you know, you get down 2 1, you don't, you don't have to score right away. You just go through the process, go through the game. And when you get your scoring chances, you have to bury it. And I thought our guys did a good job. You know, bearing on the scoring chance in the second. Well, Jack's had a lot of success recently, but tonight did seem to be his best night. Good night for the offense to have a good night. Yeah, you know what? Uh, um, if you ask Jack, he probably like a couple of goals back, but you know, he made some timely saves in the second period. You know, I think the shots are pretty even, but uh, uh, at the end of the day, it's one of those nights I think where the last team was going to sc uh, score was going to win the game. But you know what? It, it doesn't matter now. All we're focused on is getting the win and. You know, Jack's got to play Friday night again here in Milwaukee. I think that's his 10th game in a row or 9th game in a row. So um, he's got to be happy. He's playing. He's getting some wins. He's getting to see the puck. And you're not going to have your best night every night, but uh, he's going to have to, uh, you know, pick up his game here and get ready to play in, in Milwaukee Friday night. We talked this morning about the transition for Richie and McKenzie coming down here. What did you think of them tonight? You know what? For that transition, I thought they were pretty good. I, I liked the way they responded in it. You know, every game means a lot down the stretch here. So it's a little different when you're in the middle of the season when guys come down. But uh, I like the way they competed. I like the way they battled. And I know uh, Macker took an elbow to the head there tonight uh, with, with a call on it. But uh, you know what? Uh, you give those guys credit. It's tough. They've been in the NHL for a long time and yeah. come down here. But uh, they have some good friends, great memories of last year, and they want to take another run at it. Scott Valentine jumping back into the lineup, goal and an assist. Just what do you see out of him tonight? Well, not only that, did he provide some offense for us. I had a great assist on Glenny's goal. And then the shot on the, uh, I think it was at the second or third goal, whatever he scored. But I liked his physicality. I thought he was physical, and, I, and it gave us a little bit of that heaviness in our back end that, uh, that we need to have there. And one thing about Vals is he's uh, vocal on the bench. He's always yelling and screaming, and he brings that energy. So a uh, great game for him tonight, and we need that again moving forward Friday night. Is it impressive that he's able to step in and, and step into that role right away? Obviously, you don't want that physicality against your own teammates in practice. So is it impressive that he can step into a game and it is. It's tough. You know, we've got a lot of bodies right now with, uh, you know, Nicky coming down and Lindell coming and, you know, those players are going to play ahead of himself. But uh, he just goes about his business. And he, when he gets in the game, he's going to bring that physical element. And, you know, he's not going to go out and fight every night, but he's going to play hard. And uh, that's what we like about him. And, you know, when we brought him in, he was a big addition when we lost Joe Kapaka to Dallas. So for him, it's, uh, he's, he's had a good year here and he wants to build on it and continue playing. The fan base was uh, pretty rocking tonight. It wasn't the biggest crowd, but they were pretty loud. Did you kind of like what you heard in the, in the stands? Uh, you know what? I, I really don't know what the f is going on, but I, I know there was a huge cheer. I think when Hawks had a, a little razzle-dazzle on the breakout and the power play, but the fans are great here. You know, they're, they're great hockey fans. They've been here for six years supporting the team, and, you know, moving forward, it's a big part of the playoffs, and you've got to have that energy in the building. Speaking of, is this a good game to send the team out on the road, uh, you know, kind of a physical game and, you know, some camaraderie going on out there? 
Well, it is. You know what? Our last road trip was pretty solid, and we need to repeat that. But, uh, you know, if you look at our last our homestand here in three games, we played very well against Grand Rapids, didn't get the results we wanted. And tonight we got a result that we needed moving into the road trip. And then Milwaukee won tonight, so it's going to be a huge game on Friday night. And uh, the last eight games are going to be huge. Every point's going to be a, every game's going to be a four-point game, and you've got to be ready to play that night. It's playoff hockey already. Did they give you an explanation on uh, Val's misconduct there at the end? No, they didn't. They just want to get the game done. They want it out of here. <laughs>